everyone. In this video, we'll be answering a tricky question which is based on Newton's second law of motion. So here is the question. That is, why does a fielder move his hands backwards on catching a fast cricket ball? So we have noticed uh, many a times that whenever a fielder catches a ball, he moves his hand backwards like this. He doesn't generally catch the ball directly like this. So what's the reason behind that? Let's try to find out using Newton's second law of motion. So we know that a fast moving object, whichever it is, uh, it has a very large velocity. Now a body with a large velocity has a larger momentum as well because a body, uh, uh, the velocity of a body is directly proportional to its momentum. So a fast moving cricket ball when it is hit by a bat has a very large velocity and that's why it has a very large momentum as well. Now let us analyze these two situations that is suddenly stopping a ball and moving the hands backwards while stopping a ball. So let us analyze these two situations based on the concept of momentum and the second law of motion. So uh, what happens here when uh, the player suddenly stops a ball that is fast moving with a large momentum? What happens is the large momentum that the ball had will be reduced to zero in no time or in a very very less time, very short period of time. Uh, for example, in a fraction of a second, the, uh, the large momentum of a ball is reduced to zero or no momentum. So this happens in this case. But when uh, the player moves his hand backwards, he takes time to move the hand backwards. And that's the reason why the large momentum will be reduced to zero in a comparatively longer time. That is, a, a, a time which is longer than this case at least. So what happens is the rate of change of momentum is very large here because such a large momentum has to be reduced to zero for the ball to stop in a very very short period of time and that's the reason why the, the rate at which the momentum of the ball reduces to zero is very large. But in this case the rate of change of momentum is smaller because there is a longer time as compared to this. That's the reason why the rate at which the momentum of the ball has been reduced to zero is small. And we know that according to second law, that is the Newton's second law of motion, the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the force exerted. So here, since the rate of change of momentum is very large, the force exerted by the ball to the hands of the player is very, very large. So the large force is exerted onto the player's hands. But in the other case, what happens is since the rate of change of momentum is less as compared to this, the force that the ball exerts onto the hands of the player is less. Now, what do you think? In which case will the player get hurt badly? Obviously, in the first case because there has been a very large force which is suddenly exerted onto the hands of the player. But in this case, this, the same amount of force, not we, can, we cannot say the same amount of force, but a little smaller force is exerted onto the hands of the player, but with a very large interval of time. And that's the reason why the player in the other side will not get hurt at all. But the player in this side who suddenly stops the ball will get badly hurt because of the large force which is exerted onto his hands. So this is the answer to the question that we have posed before. So I hope this answer was fully understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.